Everyone associates cardio to losing weight. Here's the thing with cardio, guys. I'm a firm believer that if you really want to lose weight, do not do cardio. Cardio, the only function in cardio training is to build your anaerobic conditioning. Anaerobic conditioning is built when your heart rate goes crazy. You're pushing the barriers of your, of your cardiovascular endurance. That's increasing your aerobic conditioning. That's the beautiful thing about cardio. The rest of it is not about losing weight. When you guys are doing cardio, you get on the treadmill and everything else, and is it a fast way to burn calories? Sure. Yeah, it is. You can burn a shitload of calories faster than anything else doing cardio. So if you ate too much one day and you know you did, like it's Thanksgiving dinner and you're like, oh fuck, I gotta burn some of that off, cardio is the way to go. Period. But, you know, the amount of time it takes for cardio to burn calories and what we think we're really burning is misleading. You're better off just not eating the calories coming in than to get on the treadmill and run and everything else to burn the calories that already came in. If you just want to lose weight, guys, fuck cardio. Don't even do cardio. The problem with cardio, guys, is as soon as you step off the machine, the fat burning process stops with it. What does that mean? Well, body fat is a stored energy source, meaning it requires a very small amount of caloric intake to move that, that, that substance being fat, it's stored energy. But in order to move lean mass, muscle mass, muscle tissue, because we want to be a, we want to be lighter, we want to lose weight, but not the muscle. We want to be like skinny, but in shape and fit, not skinny and fat, right? So we want to keep that muscle. Well, when we, when we start building the muscle, right? Building the muscle, that's lean mass. It requires tremendous amount of caloric intake to move that. So hence, you know, a month down the line, you're still in cardio just getting the fat off you, right? Or you're in the gym working, lifting. You're still elevating, which is a fat burn to begin with. But you're also building muscle. So the next day, there's more muscle mass. So as you're even walking around your day, you know, you're going from your cubicle to the lunchroom and back or to the shitter and back, you're moving more lean mass. Your body's required to burn more calories just in your process. So in a treadmill, when you get off the treadmill, boom, the fat burning stops. But if you go to the gym and you build muscle, and that's the way you're burning the fat, then you add muscle to your body. So therefore, the next day, along with your high protein diet, which is the synthesis, you know, the amino acids and your protein that builds the muscle back up, your lean muscle mass goes up on your body mass index. So therefore, as you're walking around, you're burning more calories than your same body double if they only did cardio. So yes, cardio does burn calories faster than lifting weight. But once you stop the cardio, you stop the fat burning process. When you work out and you lift and you're building the muscle mass, you are still burning calories, not as fast as cardio. But then when you stop lifting, your body is going crazy burning calories to repair those muscles with the protein to build that lean mass. Once the lean mass is built, then it has to be moved every single day and you're faster and stronger. But the calories required to move that is now higher than if it was fat. So you're burning calories all day long. You add up all day long compared to the other hour on the treadmill. You're making more gains, working out, lifting to burn that fat off, guys. It's as simple as that.